going somewhere in town i saw this lorry with everyone was mocking at it that the driver has gone ahead to cut the entire tree to put on his lorry because that's the that's the rule that everyone traveling in a car especially especially big lorries like that would have to put branches of trees on them or leaves so contrary to what the governor spoke some weeks ago or some days ago or some moment ago that businesses were going on you know no problem no protest in Kaduna um, I think what I saw today was contrary because a lot of businesses have to close up and a lot of shops have to close up just a very few began to open up their stores and a few sellers a few traders working because everyone is afraid of his or her store being buckled and it's not a nice a nice experience so going to town the cars on the street are scanty unlike the kaduna that everyone knows bubbling everywhere with businesses everywhere and you can see that you need something you hardly get it because people are not coming out um, yesterday or thereabouts um, about four people got shot I think on the first day of the protest on August the 1st of 2024 when it happened in the town within the town because around the Barnawa axis towards the southern part of the city there were no recorded cases of protests even though going out you see security personnel the joint tax uh, task uh, force that's the jtf now comprising of the vigilante and the military and the police you see them strategized strategized in different locations in case of any problem so going along uh, Yakubu going away or close to it you see uh, most shops are, are closed even this uh, shopping complex by the left hand side which we went the shops most of them which I recollect were closed and just very few and the only person we met um, actually who we went to get some stuff from was actually wanting to close because he himself was afraid of being attacked by hoodlums um, in the name of protest because most people over here they come out in the name of protest and at the end of the day they go about boggling people's stores uh, which is not it um, the fight is against government against bad governance against uh, uh, against uh, theft in the government but uh, the people or a good number of the people coming out for protest uh, they come out to boggle their fellow citizens properties and they cut away with a lot of stuff so one gets confused if it's actually a protest or a boggling party so we get confused and if citizens would do that to citizens then what do you expect you expect uh, lawlessness and the military has taken a stance against uh, all all the against all those kind of uh, bad behaviors by hoodlums who take uh, or use the opportunity um, in the name of the protest to go about uh, boggling people's stores and bringing people's businesses down just imagine someone starting a business or someone who has invested much time and energy and resources in building a business at the end of the day 
some hoodlums in the name of protest go around and come around and boggle such a store so what do you expect the, how do you expect or where do you expect the person to start from so you can see the gate here is um, quite empty unlike uh, a few days ago before the protest you hardly see um, these pieces without cars being parked and you see businesses opened with uh, people going about being busy and look at it today being the 4th or the 3rd of August 2024 you can see how empty the place is and it's really not uh, quite good for business and you expect that um, the business is soon open so people can continue with the uh, lawful businesses and and end the suffering because the economy is really suffering at the moment and people are really hungry because the protest is against hunger and people are really getting hungry so this is it no, I was asking questions. No one was lazy for Nigeria. Police are the one who was lazy to